Display styles are used to control the rendering and the display of MicroStation views. To change a display style in MicroStation and Open Roads Designer, simply click the View Attributes button. And then you can change the display style by using the pull down. Let's change this to wireframe. Let's go ahead and change it back to illustration ignore lighting. And you can see the differences in the 3D view. Display styles can also have associated display rules. Display rules change the view with respect to elements. Here is an example of one that we have built into our training and examples workspace, which is to highlight the asphalt concrete. We'll simply select that as our display style and we can see in the 3D view that asphalt concrete is now highlighted and the rest of the elements are now dithered. To create your own display styles and associated display rules, simply go to the seed folder of our configuration, select one of the 3D seed files, copy that file, and then paste it into the DGN Live folder, Display Styles folder, and then rename this file to XYZ display styles DGN lib. To point to the DGN library that we just created for the display styles, simply go to the XYZ consultants.cfg file and locate the DGN lib list con configuration variable. Then go over to the end here and change the name so it will find the new DGN lib list right here, and that's the name we just used, which is the location of our new display styles. The next step is to go into the XYZ display styles .dgn lib file, then change your workflow to drawing, change the tab to view, and then click on this little corner piece here, which is the display styles button. For managing display styles. To create a new display rule, simply come over to the new button here and click it. Then give it the display rule a name. We're going to call that highlight right of way. Then we are going to give it a some display rules. So let's create a new display rule. In this display rule, we're also going to call this highlight right of way. That's the name of the display rule. And we're going to give it some criteria to be able to highlight the right of way with red and then make everything else in the file white. Simply come over and say new, apply to, always apply, and then pick element all the way down through general and level and then type in or use the pull down if the level name is in the file. B e under bar right of way is the name of the level. This is equals, and what do we want to do with that? We want to change the way it looks. We're going to make it red. Next, we will come over and make another new one here, and this is for the rest of the elements. Again, we select level. And it is E right away. But this time, we want it to be not equal to. And we'll add an action for that, a symbology override. And this one will be a white color. It's already white. And we're done with that. And now we go test to make sure that it works. Here we are in a working file that has fairly cluttered. And we'd like to just be able to isolate where the right of way is. So we're going to go over to the display styles and pull down and then pick the highlight right of way display style that we just created with its associated display rules. And you can see here that 
everything is now white except for the right of way is red. In this example we use level names to be able to uh, control our display rules. There is the potential to use open roads elements and open roads properties to be able to control display rules. Uh, to do this you need to be in a file that has open roads elements in it. So you cannot do this in the DGN library. So I will show you here how to do that. So we simply come over here to the display rules and we hit the edit and we can add a new condition. And then when we click on here, we can now pull down here and pick a property that comes from open roads from the list that gets generated below. In the elements area here, we see terrain models. Uh, we also see alignment features and other uh, open roads entities that can be used to make display rules. One last thought on this is that when you're doing this in a file, you need to take that resource and bring it back into the DGN library. So the next procedure, once you create these open roads display rules, then you would go into the DGN library and use this button here to import it from the design file that you have the elements in it from open roads back into the DGN library.